My experience at UMB has been an absolute roller coaster of different experiences that I personally believe have truly shaped who I am today. I came to campus as just like a shy 17 year old with no friends, no clue what was going on. Um, and it's quite interesting to see just how like outspoken I've become over the years. I've learned through university just to um, roll with the changes and be flexible. So I think that's something that's very different from how I used to be um, when I first started. As an individual, I am more rounded now with an increased capacity to view things from multiple perspectives and cultures. And in part, that's because of all the different people I've had an opportunity to interact with. I came in 17 years old, thought I, thought I knew how things kind of were, but actually getting the chance to be independent. I got to learn more about who I am, what my interests are, what I want from life. And now I feel much more prepared to start my next chapter just how far out of my shell I've come and I think it's it excites me because to see that growth in four years it's like okay that's been four years what will the next however many uh, bring. When I studied abroad there were things I'd never experienced in St. John uh, and I was, I was able to overcome those and take those learnings and come back to St. John being I guess more confident. So I never thought that I'd be able to take have a full course load and still get to play varsity basketball like that was a huge impact on my university uh, of my last four years getting to play basketball going away and making those lifelong friends that I'll have for the rest of my life before I was at UNB I felt out of place you know I didn't really know who I was or where I would end up uh, you know I was confused and the future was uncertain and during my time here I've discovered you know who I am what I strive to be you know I found a passion for life that I didn't really know I had in me but I don't think I can just credit that to myself. Um, I don't think it would have been possible without the sense of community, uh, you know, the incredible faculty and staff at UNB. If I were to look back at the four years, I think the biggest uh, takeaway or like lesson that I didn't expect to learn was the value of spontaneity. There is like a, to a certain extent a plan for what comes next, but there will always be uh, wrenches thrown, so have to ebb with the flow. If I could travel back in time, I would tell my first year self that it's all worth it and everything's going to work out in the end. The late nights studying, the long labs, having to miss the, the off night out with my friends or the pressure of walking into the gym and just seeing rows and rows and rows and rows of desks during exam periods. So that even though it's stressful, even though there was times that it was really hard, I just wish I could tell, tell myself that in the end I will come out of it with plenty of memories and all the hard work will pay off. I would tell myself to never give up. And I would also tell myself that the future is so rewarding. There is sunshine on the other side and you are able to pursue those goals and you are able to push yourself. And it's so, so important to never give up. The present moment is invaluable. Um, enjoying the now and spending less time living in the future is what I would tell my previous self. Um, right now is all we have and all we ever will have. Uh, living in the future takes that away. I would tell myself, and I do tell myself every day, to spend more time in the present and less in the future. So if I was to travel back and talk to my first year self, uh, I would ask the question, why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it because your friends are? Uh, this is the time to create your own path. So it really won't do you a whole lot of good if you compare yourself to others and you use that as a benchmark. Instead, try to use kind of your personal fulfillment uh, as that uh, the road mark of like where you're headed and like whether you're going down the right path. I would strongly encourage any new students to push their own limits because that might be how they learn something new or discover their dream job or even make their best friends all key parts of embracing the full UNB experience. I guess the first thing I would say is spend more time with friends. You never know when a pandemic is gonna strike. I hope that whatever myself and my classmates end up doing, we're both, we're all able to find uh, our passion while also making a difference in our community. Uh, I think those two are extremely important when deciding what you wanna do in your future. I think, again, through our experiences in this past year, we've realized how important it is to truly enjoy what we're doing uh, and don't take advantage or don't take for granted every day that we have.
that we are the change. Our generation has the power um, to create the social change that we all want to achieve. And I think that we are a determined grad class. Um, I've seen that through everyone, especially through the pandemic. We can cope um, through pretty much anything. And I think we can do anything we set our minds to. I will personally strive to live by the UMB motto, to dare to be wise with whatever I do in the future. So thank you so, so much. And congratulations to the class of 2021. My name is Chetty Baga. My name is Hannah Thorne. My name is Hannah Grossman. My name is Madison Hogan. My name is Maria Cummings. My name is Domina Lohan. My name is Jordan McDonald. I'm Bree Forbes, and I'm a part of UMB's class of 2021. Graduates of the class of 2021, welcome to the University of New Brunswick, 191st and Senior. I'm Kathy Wilson, Acting Vice President Academic at UMB, and it's my honor to be here with you for today's ceremony. I'm joining you today from the unceded and unsurrendered homelands of the Wulistikwe people. These lands are covered by the treaties of peace and friendship signed between the Wabanaki nations and the British crown. These treaties established what was to be a harmonious relationship, living together as equal nations based on peace, friendship, and mutual respect. Wherever you find yourself today, I hope you take a moment to reflect on the first peoples of this land, the treaties, and peaceful relations. Today we acknowledge and celebrate your academic achievements and the personal growth you've made throughout your time at UMB. While you're celebrating your graduation virtually, your achievements are no less valuable. In fact, and as a result of your perseverance over the past year, I would argue that you've cultivated a whole new set of skills you wouldn't have otherwise gained. This is not to say that finishing your degree online was not challenging, as it undoubtedly was. But today, we celebrate the hard work that it took for you to get here. Graduating is no small achievement. To graduate during a pandemic is particularly remarkable. Getting here is required determination, and we're thrilled that you've joined us to celebrate your graduation. There are many people who want to wish you congratulations, and it's my pleasure to begin this ceremony with the Wollastook song and a welcome to these ancestral lands by Billowita Huzawan, Amanda Myron. Well, I Yeah. 
Sagate. Well, Leewen, for the warm welcome. Kweb Sude Wen, Ndaliwas Amanda Myron, Naganil Dakota Su Abbott, Nujayao Wulastaguk, Naganil Bilwida Hazuin. Hi, my name is Amanda Myron. I'm a Dakota Sioux woman who was born and raised in Wulastagwe homelands, and I'm Bilwida Hazuin at UNB. I choose to introduce myself in the Wulastagwe language because it is the first language of this land and carries some of the first teachings. It is my honor to be joining you from the ancestral homelands of the Wulastagawyeg, who are people of the beautiful and bountiful river. They have ancestral connections to the land, water, and air, and have been here since time immemorial. They also have pre-existing, inherent, and collective rights as a distinct Indigenous nation. Two years ago, the University of New Brunswick recognized its commitment to reconciliation action and Indigenous peoples in a ceremony. UNB derives some of its teachings of reconciliation action from the Wulastagwe word Biluida Hazuauzuwagan, which means to change minds and live the truth. That was gifted to us by Dr. Elder of Lawsonwas Imelda Pearlie, who was also our elder in residence at the time. Biluida Hazuauzuwagan is a personal commitment that you can take with you no matter where you go. To everyone who's graduating, congratulations on making it this far. To Indigenous students, continue following the ancestral tracks of your ancestors and continue making way for the future generations yet to come. Gulanke Yazan, Naga Guli Gazat, Naga Apchich Kanumyal. Take care, and I hope to see you again. Thank you, Amanda, for your words, and thank you to Angie Aquin, Judy Aquin Makovsky, Sarah Francis, Ramona Nicholas, Natalie Sapir, and Amanda for your beautiful song. Some of you may know that our graduation ceremonies at UNB traditionally open with Latin. The use of Latin symbol symbolizes our roots in the earliest universities, and it reminds us that the search for truth is both ancient and new. I'm pleased to introduce our President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Paul Maserol, and our Chancellor, Dr. Allison McCain, for the official Latin opening. Thank you, Dr. Wilson, and welcome, Chancellor McCain. Thank you. Implicime consulari placetne tibuut officium incipiat. Plaquette. Graduates, guests, and colleagues, we're here to celebrate a very determined group, UMB's class of 2021. Graduates, throughout your time at UMB, and particularly in the past 15 months, you have shown great strength, determination, and resilience. You persevered through a very tumultuous moment in our history. And while now we can see some light at the end of the tunnel, this period of great change is not yet over. I want you to know that your achievements matter more today than ever before. As we move toward recovery from the coronavirus pandemic, we will look to you, our, our newest generation of thinkers, for your ideas and solutions. We will look to you for your vision of what the world should look like and how it can be made better. Hope is everywhere, and it starts with you. We know that you came to UMB in the pursuit of knowledge and of a higher education. But what you've also gained, and might not have expected, is knowledge about yourself, who you are, your dreams, your passions, your values and beliefs. Perhaps it was at UMB where you decided who it is you want to become and with whom you wish to surround yourself. Inward reflection and self-awareness, these things are hard work, and they are no less valuable than your studies. They influence your approach to life and the decisions you make, both in and outside of your chosen fields. You are the thinkers, the activists, the innovators, the educators, the creatives, and the leaders. This is your moment. Step into the world knowing that you are the architects of tomorrow and we trust in you to build a stronger, healthier, and more just future. This, of course, is no small task, but I've witnessed your dedication, your hard work, and perseverance in action. And I have every confidence that you will use the skills and knowledge that you've acquired to create positive change in today's world. I have this confidence because I've seen you continue to believe in yourself, your chosen area of study, your future, and the future of our world. As a UMB graduate, you are part of a special network of friends and supporters who also believe in you. 
We will always be cheering you on and wishing you the very, very best. Here is to hope, here is to a bright future, and here is to the class of 2021. It is now my sincere pleasure to invite Her Honor, the Honorable Brenda Murphy, Lieutenant Governor of New Brunswick to provide our graduates with some words of encouragement and congratulations. Dear graduates, cher finissant, félicitations pour cette grande réussite. Je vous souhaite un parcours rempli de succès et de bonheur. I wish we could all be celebrating your graduation together in person. During your final year, you've dealt with social isolation, adapted to virtual classrooms, and persevered through the shroud of uncertainty. Your tenacity, flexibility, and resilience are inspiring. Equipped with the new perspective that you've gained from overcoming these challenges, along with the skill set you've acquired through your education, you are uniquely prepared to face whatever life throws at you. Although this may mark the end of your journey as a student, the relationships you've created with classmates and faculty members will last a lifetime. I wish you great success. Wherever you go, as UNB alumni, you will be leaders and role models. I encourage you to promote equality, fairness, and social justice in your communities. Use your education as a tool to help others, to fight for inclusivity, and to lend your voice to those whose voice is often silenced. Most importantly, believe in yourselves and in your ability to make a difference in the world. Be proud of yourselves for accomplishing so much in the face of adversity. Guli Gizet, congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor, for your words of wisdom. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Alice McCain, Chancellor of UNB. Thank you, President Maserol. Graduates, honorary degree recipients, guests, and members of the UNB community, we're here today to recognize the achievements of the graduating class of 2021. Change in the world is happening at the fastest rate in the history of mankind and is likely to accelerate even more. The current pandemic necessitated immediate change in the ways in which we live and work. Just consider the adaptation required at UNB for you to complete your degree in a timely and safe manner. While the world is more prosperous than at any time in its history, issues such as poverty, racism, equality, and climate change still present significant challenges. I like to think my generation made some progress on these issues but your generation has the opportunity to solve them. As you begin to make your mark as a teacher, a lawyer, an engineer, or something else, start early to address some of the larger societal issues. It's a big ask, but you are well equipped to take it on. Stay connected to the UNB community. Our influence extends beyond New Brunswick with alumni spread across the country and around the world. There is strength in numbers, and frankly, it is more fun. Graduates, enjoy the moment today. You earned it, and you deserve it. But we do look forward to seeing what you accomplish. You are both our pride and our hope. Congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor McCain, and thank you, President Maserol. It's my honor to present the Governor General's Silver Medal and the Lieutenant Governor of New Brunswick's Silver Medals. On behalf of the university, I want to congratulate all the recipients and express the hope that you will maintain the high standards which you've demonstrated in qualifying for these awards. The Governor General's academic medals were created in 1873 to encourage academic excellence across the country. Over the years, they've become the most prestigious awards students in can Canadian schools can receive. The Governor General's Silver Medal is awarded to the undergraduate who achieves the highest academic standing upon graduation from a bachelor's degree program. The Governor General's Silver Medal for Academic Excellence in Science is awarded to Jasmine Ng.
Congratulations, Jasmine. Through the generosity of her honor, the Lieutenant Governor of New Brunswick's silver medals are awarded to the outstanding graduating student in each of the faculties on the Fredericton campus. We will now present the medals in Computer Science and Engineering. The Lieutenant Governor's Silver Medal in Computer Science is awarded to Stephen Downward. The Lieutenant Governor's Silver Medal in Engineering is awarded to Leslie Trask. We'll now move on to the final student award of the ceremony, the Douglas Gold Medal, founded by the late Sir Howard Douglas, Lieutenant Governor of the Province of New Brunswick and the first Chancellor of King's College. It's awarded to an undergraduate for the best composition in prose or verse in any subject within the university. The Douglas Gold Medal is awarded to Kathleen Peacock. Congratulations to you all. At this time, we will confer the honorary rank of Professor Emeritus. The Professor Emeritus distinction is awarded only to retired faculty members. Criteria for the honorary rank include teaching performance of exceptional merit, extensive research, publication of unusually high quality, creative contributions to the administration and development of the university, and a record of professional conduct that indicates fair and ethical treatment of students and other members of the academic community. Candidates must be approved by the university's Board of Governors. It's my pleasure to announce that Dr. Liu Chen Chang will be awarded the designation of Professor Emeritus in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Dr. Liu Chen Chang joined UMB as an assistant professor in 1992, contributing significantly and continuously to the university's electrical and computer engineering department. Dr. Chang is recognized for his renowned work in power engineering across Canada and abroad. He's published more than 380 refereed papers in journals and conference proceedings, supervised 19 postdoctoral fellows, received research funding of $24 million, and has supervised or co-supervised eight research associates and scientists, 39 PhD students, and 44 Masters of Science students. Dr. Chang worked hard to change the face of research in electrical power at UMB and played a large role in growing the program to international recognition. He started with the Sustainable Power Research Group, which has evolved into the Amera and New Brunswick Power Research Centre for Smart Grid Technologies. Dr. Chang is a Fellow of the Canadian Academy of Engineering, winner of the Canadian Wind Energy Association R.J. Templin Award, and is currently President of the IEEE Power Electronics Society. Dr. Chang is most deserving of the honour of Professor Emeritus at the University of New Brunswick. I now offer my sincere congratulations to Dr. Chang and to all of our award winners on their incredible achievements. Well done. We will now proceed to the conferring of degrees in course. We will begin with the doctoral degrees presented by Dr. Drew Rendell, UNB Dean of Graduate Studies, followed by the master's and the bachelor's degrees. Dean Rendell. Thank you, President Masrell. It's a pleasure to congratulate the graduates of 2021. Completing a graduate degree, a master's or a PhD, is a significant achievement at any time. And it's especially impressive in this time, given the many additional challenges thrown down by the COVID pandemic, which testifies to your tremendous abilities, your grit, your determination, and your resilience. You should be very proud of your accomplishments and confident that you can conquer any challenge the future has to bring. We certainly are, and we wish you the very best. We hope you remember UNB fondly and that you remember always to dare to be wise and to help others to be as well. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Chun Gong, for a thesis entitled Aggregated Load Forecast and Control for Creating Alternative Power System Resources Using Thermostatically Controlled Loads. Ali Hakimi Parisi, to be Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, for a thesis entitled 
cross-lingual word embeddings for low-resource and morphologically rich languages. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Geodesy and Geomatics Engineering, Marco Mendonca, for a thesis entitled Simulation and Prototyping of Integration Methods Between GNSS, INS, and Signals of Opportunity Sources. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Geodesy and Geomatics Engineering, Thalia Nikolaidu, for a thesis entitled Atmospheric Delay Modeling for Ground-Based GNSS Reflectometry. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Sahid Shafi Hassanabadi, for a thesis entitled Game Theoretic Defense Defensive Approaches for Forensic Investigators Against Anti-Forensics. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Geodesy and Geomatics Engineering, Ivan Smolyakov, for a thesis entitled On Environmental Adaptation in GNSS-Based Integrative Navigation Systems. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Guanhong Song, for a thesis entitled Novel Control for Small-Scale Three-Phase Wind Generation Systems in High Wind Speed Regions. To be Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Sheng Chang, for a thesis entitled Domestic Electric Water Heater Control for Peak Shaving and Frequency Control. It is now my pleasure to present the master's graduates from UNB's class of 2021.
Thank you, Dean Rendell. And graduates, please accept my sincere congratulations. We will now confer the bachelor's degrees in course. We will begin with the Faculty of Computer Science, presented by Dr. Luigi Benicidente, Dean of the Faculty of Computer Science. Hello, UNB class of 2021. My name is Luigi Benedicenti, and I am the Dean of Computer Science. It is my sincere pleasure to present the graduates of the Bachelor of Computer Science. Your journey to graduation has been more challenging than many, but you've learned to be persistent, overcome obstacles, seek excellence, and achieve success. These skills are the cornerstone of success in life. Continue to apply them, and there is no limit to what you can achieve. Congratulations. Greetings to the class of 2021. My name is Chris Didick, and I'm the Dean of Engineering. 
It is my pleasure to present the graduates of the Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Software Engineering and the Bachelor of Geomatics. In our lives, there are few life-altering events that are as transformational as the university experience. And although complicating, the pandemic reminds us of our ability for resilience and our ability to adapt. This is what gives us strength to cope with stress, to handle adversity, and to rebuild after catastrophe. It is my hope these qualities will enable you to become leaders dedicated to making a difference and helping to solve some of the world's most wicked problems. I want to say how proud I am of every one of you. I wish you every success. I hope you look back fondly on your time at university and you will act as ambassadors for UNB. Thank you and congratulations.
This concludes the granting of degrees in course. Graduates, I offer you my sincere congratulations. I now invite Mr. Peter Syroyd, President of UMB's Associate Alumni, to welcome our newest alumni. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. Wherever you may be celebrating from, I hope you wear your alumni pin with pride. On behalf of the more than 93,000 UMB alumni living all over the world, it's my great pleasure to welcome each of you to the UMB family. UMB alumni are known as leaders in their communities, innovators in the workplace, and change makers in ways big and small. We are so thrilled to count you among us, and we're eager to see what you do to help affect positive change in the world. Your Alumni Association is here to support you, to connect you with one another, and to help you stay involved with UMB, whether that be by connecting on social media, taking part in our events, or sharing your stories, I encourage you to stay connected with us. Congratulations again, class of 2021. Now please take a look at the following message from some fellow proudly UMB alumni. When we say we're proudly UMB, we're not just saying we went there. We're saying we're part of something, something big, something strong, something deep, transformational. Life long. Something that has allowed me to take on the world, to discover my passions, strengths, to wake up every day and do what I love. To be part of something special, a global community. To network, socialize. To celebrate our accomplishments together as UMB grads. And now it's your turn to make your mark. Your connection to UNB is not something you leave behind you. It's something you take with you. Something you cherish and nurture. Something you shine brightly. Something you say loudly. Proudly. You are UMB's greatest ambassadors. No matter where you go, who you meet, or what you do. Stay, stay connected. connected. UNB is a part of us who we are, and who you've just become. You will always be proudly UNB. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the alumni family. Please now welcome UMB Fredericton's campus valedictorian, Peyton Yonke, UMB's first ever Indigenous valedictorian. Peyton received a Bachelor of Philosophy in Interdisciplinary Leadership from Renaissance College. Peyton? Tanse Kiawao, Peyton Yankee de Shinakashian. Hello everyone, my name is Peyton Yankee and it is my honor to stand here today to reflect on our undergraduate journeys that have led us all to this exciting moment in our lives, graduation. It is with tremendous gratitude that I get to be here today. Gratitude for those who walked this path before me, those that walked alongside me, and those that will walk this path after me. It is no secret that the last year and a half of our degrees was not easy. For a lot of us, going to university meant more freedom. And as many returned to our childhood bedrooms to finish off our degrees, we have experienced what it's like to lose some of that freedom, to not be able to see family and friends, and to be isolated in our homes. During this time, our eyes were opened in what some consider to be unprecedented ways to people all over the world and in our own country who have been prevented from enjoying the same freedoms many took for granted before and during this pandemic. We have seen black and brown bodies die from this virus at alarmingly disproportionate rates, and these same bodies killed by the very people we're told should be protecting us, leaving us to grieve those we lost from this pandemic and those we lost from the systemic racism that is woven into the fabric of our society. We have seen the continued degradation of our Earth Mother and how this remains inextricably linked with the violence against Indigenous women. We have also seen accommodations that we were previously told were impossible made in record time and on a large scale, leaving those with varying abilities questioning why certain accessible options were only made available when it affected those who are able-bodied. In a multitude of ways, we have seen with clarity the systems and structures in our society that work to disadvantage and marginalize groups of people. But during this time, we have also seen profound change happen, 
as people took to the streets to stand with those facing racism and discrimination, challenged the uninformed views of those around them, and used their voice to speak up against injustices. Empower yourself to be part of this change. Listen to those whose voices are too often silenced and most importantly, never stop learning. These injustices we have witnessed are not the issues of the individuals or groups experiencing them. It is all of our responsibility to recognize what is happening and to commit to building a more equitable future for all people. Now more than ever, it is imperative that we recognize our shared humanity and the right we all have to a good life. As we move into this next phase of life, many of us are thinking about how our lives and our work can make a positive difference in the world. We are the agents of change and we get to decide what future we want to create for ourselves and those that will come after us. We have the power to leave things better than when we found them and we all do this in different ways. Find your path and follow it. Take some time to acknowledge those who stood beside you during these past few years and thank them for their support. Be grateful for the friendships made that will last a lifetime. Remember who you were when you started this degree. Think about who you are now and let yourself be proud of how much you've grown. I'm leaving UNB with a renewed hope for the future we are collectively building. What this pandemic has offered is the opportunity to dream a better world and one that honors and respects all of creation. Always think critically about how you move through this world and never forget whose land you're walking on. To all those who shared space with me on this journey, kina nas komtin ni totemak. Thank you, my friends. Kakiao ni wakumaganak. All my relations. Thank you, Peyton. Please accept my sincere congratulations. On behalf of the Chancellor of UMB, the Board of Governors, the Senate, and all the faculty and staff, I extend to all who have received the degrees here today our most sincere congratulations on your truly remarkable achievements. You are a member of the UMB family forever, and we sincerely look forward to watching you change the world for the better. I now welcome UMB alumnus, Mr. Alex Landin, who will close up the ceremony with the singing of Old Canada. Alex? The true north, strong and free, from far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. UMB graduates of 2021. You made it. My sincere congratulations on this wonderful academic achievement of perseverance and strength on your part during these times. Continue to dare to be wise. Hey, class of 2021, congratulations! You did it! Now a whole new world is opening up right before your eyes and just want to say, go for it! Give her, get her done! Congratulations. My friends, colleagues, and fellow UMBs, congratulations. Actually, the world is as beautiful as this sun. So uh, always be exploring, always be trying, and remember, most importantly, always be you and do your thing. We may not have been able to talk to you in person for a year or even longer, but that doesn't mean that you have not been on our minds. Congratulations on uh, completing your degree and all the best for the future.
Congratulations, class of 2021. Your hard work and dedication has paid off. Best of luck with your future endeavors. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. All of us at UMB are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments, and we absolutely cannot wait to see what you do next. Congratulations to all of you who are graduating from UNB in the spring of 2021. They say that often adversity can build resilience and certainly this was an opportunity for all of us. As a parent of one of the graduates, I'm extremely proud of your achievement and I wish you well for the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. As a member of Capital Planning and Operations, it's been my pleasure to ensure that you have a healthy and safe learning environment while at UMB. A rising tide lifts all ships. Likewise, your success makes all the world a better place. Go do great things. And again, congratulations. Welcome to our growing alumni family at UNB. As today marks the end of an important chapter in your life, it also marks the beginning of a new and exciting one where the possibilities are many. As you go out into the world and you shine in your life and career, always remember to stand up for those who are less fortunate than you. UNB Grad Class of 2021, congratulations. Big congratulations to all our graduates. Your resilience, your desire for lifelong learning, and above all, your integrity of character will help you navigate these unprecedented times. I wish you the very best as you move forward. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is just the beginning. I can't wait to see how you all change and shape the world. Congratulations to you all, and especially the chemical engineering students. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You've survived this, so you can make it through anything. Keep in touch, and we can't wait to see what you do with your lives. Take care. Class of 2021, University of New Brunswick graduates, you are amazing. I love you. I'm so proud of you. All the congratulations in the world from me and Willow. See you soon. On behalf of McCain Foods, we want to wish all of the graduates of UNB all the best as you embark on the next chapter of your journey. For some of you, that will mean further education, and for others, that means going out into the work world. No matter what you choose, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We're so happy to share this big moment with you. Best wishes on your next adventure. Hello class of 2021. You did it. Congratulations. And welcome to the UMB alumni family. We're so very proud and grateful that you chose to pursue your education here at UMB. And I hope that you take this opportunity to celebrate this significant accomplishment and milestone in your life. I wish you all the best and congratulations again. Congratulations graduates. It's been a challenging year, but your hard work and adaptability have paid off. Best of luck in the future. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it. You put in the hard work, you persevered, and now we get to celebrate your achievements. I'm so proud of you, and we're going to miss you. Good luck with whatever comes next. Congratulations, grads. Now listen, one thing, the secret's out now in this time. Employers know that the most capable and hardworking and most trustworthy employees are graduates of UMB. So when they ask what university you go to, proudly say that you're UMB grad. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations graduates. Not only have you reached your goals today, but you've done so under extraordinary circumstances with extra patience, resilience, and perseverance required. You should be so proud of yourselves. We are proud of you. Way to go. Congratulations, Julia. Congratulations to you, Julia. Congratulations, Julia. Hope somebody's filming. <laughs> Hope so. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Hi. Congratulations on finishing your engineering degree. Well done. We're very proud of you. We love you. Hi. Congratulations, Tegan. Woo! You're amazing. Woo! Hey, Tegan. You like this picture? I didn't even shave today, but however, I'm up for your graduation. You did a great job. Keep up the good work. Congratulations, Tegan, on your graduation. Bye. Love ya. See you later. Hi, Julia. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You're such a good kid. I love you. Good luck, Bella. Ciao. 
congratulations, Julia, on your graduation. And we wish you luck in the next stage of your life. Congratulations. All the best. Bye. Congratulations, Tegan. Way to go for finishing university. Well, we have another engineer in our family. Woo! Hey, Julia, congratulations. Incredibly proud of you. Love you, Mom. Congratulations, class of 2021. You survived a year like no other. Way to go. Kudos to you. A special shout out uh, to my son, Andrew, who's graduating from Earth Sciences, the honors program. Your father and I are so proud of you, Andrew. Go out there, explore the world, enjoy yourself. You deserve all the happiness that life can bring you. And I know you'll do great things. Hi, Tony. Congratulations from myself, Mike, and Emily. Oh, and Charlie, and little Ben. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Tony. That hard work definitely paid off. I'm so tremendously proud of you. I can't wait to celebrate. Love and miss you. Congratulations. You're finally an engineer. Now you can engineer me the best sandwich ever. So you better get on it and make me a sandwich. I <laughs> love you. Congratulations, Tony, on your new career. You're a civil engineer. You've done an awesome job. Thank you, dear. Hey, Tony, super proud of you. Congrats on your graduation. Congratulations, Tony. I am so proud of you. You are going to make a great engineer. I love you lots. Congratulations, Tony. I uh, love you. You're going to make an awesome engineer. And <laughs> anything I need fixed, I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. You are finally graduating from your civil engineering. I am so excited for you. Like you've been working so hard for this and you've earned every bit of it and you haven't stopped. I can't wait for us to celebrate. I know we have some skydiving in order, so we gotta get that done. Nothing like celebrating, like screaming your asses off. <laughs> hey, Tony, just wanted to say how proud I am of you for getting your civil engineering degree. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Congratulations, Julia. Welcome home. Hope it was a safe ride. McGee wants to say hello. Good luck with the new job. Congratulations. Love you. Hope you see you soon. Promise sends his back. That is Katie. So does Alex.